Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make preserved lemons. Preserved lemons are super easy to make. They're basically just pickled in salt in their own juices. And if you've never heard of them, you're not alone. They're a pivotal food item in North African kitchens and they're used to add brightness, salt, and depth to stews, dressings, sauces, tagines, and other dishes. Many Moroccan and Middle Eastern recipes call for preserved lemons. And as I said, making them is a very easy process. They just take some time. And the good news is it's all waiting time, not prep time. Prep time is really fast. So if you have any dishes that you've been wanting to make, or you find any that call for these, you're gonna wanna prepare these way ahead of time. If you like them, it's good to just keep them on hand. They'll keep her a very long time. To start, prep the jars you plan to put the lemons in as well as their lids by boiling them. This is always the first step in any canning recipe for sterilization purposes. However, unlike other canning recipes, this does not involve hot liquid beyond this point. Go ahead and wash your lemons and break them down however you like. I did smaller slices because my jars were pretty small. Then we're going to gather our hardware, which in my case are the jars, an ice cream scoop, which will be used as a muddling device, and your ingredients, which are the lemon slices and salt. Once you've gathered everything together, you're simply going to sprinkle the salt pretty liberally on each side of the lemon slices and layer them into your jar. Here I'm using kosher salt, which is pretty much my preference for most things, but table salt will work just as well. In between each layer, mash everything down. I'm using this ice cream scoop handle, but you can use anything blunt, like the back of a wooden spoon would be another good option, or if you have an actual mortar and pestle, you can certainly use something like that. This gets the juices flowing and intermingling with the salt and fills the voids because what you wanna do is get as much of the air out as possible. This process also moves things down, allowing room for more slices to be added. Something to note here is you could add in additional seasonings like bay leaves or other spices, depending on your preference. I am making just a very basic, simple recipe here, but you could play around with things and figure out what you like and what works best for the dishes that you're trying to make and get adventurous. When you think it's full, add a few more. And after my final round of muddling, I did an extra squeeze of juice over the top just to make sure it was full. If the juice is overflowing the top, that means the air should all be out. So I'm going to press my lid right down over the top and seal it up. Once everything is sealed, store your jars in a cool, dark place. I stored mine in the back of my pantry, which they stayed for about a month. The only thing I needed to do was just shake each jar a bit periodically during that time. Eventually. After 30 days or whenever the peel looks translucent, they're ready to use. To use them, remove a piece of the lemon and rinse it under running water. You can remove the pulp if you like, then mince the peel and add it to your dish. Preserved lemons in their liquid will keep up to a year, and the pickling liquid can be used again as well within that time. I hope I've inspired you to try something new, and if so, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!